Hello everyone, welcome to a previously recorded live stream video where we show you how to paint Kyphrixis Copper Dragon. We'll be using a Grex Airbrush Turbo Dork Paints, two cents of the cartridge family, and Reaper Paints Harvest Brown and Orange Brown. To help you get started, we have bundles that include Kyphrixis, two cents, the cartridge family, Saddle Brown, and Orange Brown, the model color equivalents to the Reaper colors I'm using in this video. If you want to watch the full video, follow the link in the comments. To get started, we're going to do a zenithal highlight on the wings to help highlight the base colors and add some depth to the model. And to do that, we're just using a white color. I just did a little bit of zenithal highlighting. This is just to bring out some of the base colors that I'm going to use. Once we're done with the zenithal highlighting, we're going to go into a base coat. The base coat will be two cents, and this will take two to three layers of paint to achieve the, the desired color. Make sure to pay extra attention to the direction of the scales to help the model as much, to do as much work for you as possible. Don't forget to get the scales on the wings. And we're going to be speeding through and jumping through parts of this. You can skip around with us or just follow right along with the video. Pause at any point in time that you feel like you need to catch up. Now I did just, I only put the paint in. I didn't put any kind of thinner in with it. And it's going on absolutely lovely. You can see the difference between the two sides where this one looks like it's still almost completely black and this one has a lot more color to it. Right, so now we, I have a little bit more color on his on his face so it's it's going to stand out a little bit brighter. Uh, it's a little bit darker than the other one but I'm also waiting, I also have another layer, another color of paint to put on there. So I'm now going to do the scales on the wings. At this point, we now have two to three layers of the copper color on our dragon. Next, we're going to be moving on to the cartridge family. Make sure to use this sparingly, uh, as this is a highlight. Add a little bit more color to the face to help draw the attention to that a little bit more. And once again, don't forget to get the scales on the wings. Now that we have that, Kendall, do you have anything that you would like to add to, uh, to what's been going on that you've seen so far? Almost identical to what I did to the, with the other dragon in terms of what the, the body looks like. Oh, that's crazy. It's almost like I practiced it before, before I started doing it. Who does that? After you're happy with the color, add poster tech to the wings to keep the next color from spraying over the metallics. Uh, I really like this really this nice autumn brown color that I got for the wings. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing for this guy. And to start, that's going to be Harvest Brown. When you know. Harvest, autumn, it's very, very particular color there. Yeah. That fits uh, exactly what you were looking for. It's almost like I planned it or something. Weird. When you've covered both wings, base the flesh parts with the Harvest Brown or the Saddle Brown color. You notice while I'm doing this that I'm trying to follow as best as possible the texture of the wings. This is the effect of the zenithal highlighting. Uh, you see, you can see the lighter ridges where I had the white, and the darker ridges where I had left it black. So that's what that particular style of highlighting will do for it, especially if you're working with air, with an airbrush, uh, because of how thin the paints are. Kendall, do you have you learned anything today? No, 
now I know what that zin, something zin, zenithal. Zenithal, not Zendikar. Uh, <laughs> that's no, we're, my not, brain. we're not doing magic. We're not selling magic today. Well, we are selling magic. We're selling magic in the form of a magical airbrush that disappears when I hold it up. My face is a fry. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Finally, we're going to add the heart, the orange brown color to the wings. This is just to hit the highlights of the wings, and once you're happy with that, all you'll have to do is then dry and remove the tack. Again, follow just the highlights here, following the texture of the model as best as possible, leaving some of the, the harvest brown underneath. Does the tack or painter's tape peel off any paint from underneath, and would you have to go over what you've already covered again? I do not. Once everything's all set, attach the wings back to the model, step back, and admire your work. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, send us an email, give us a call, stop by the store. Let us know what you think. There will be a follow-up video to do the detail work for Kyphrexus coming soon. Follow us on Facebook, Twitch, and check out our Discord. Have a good day.